so guys we have successfully completed with the brands crud operation so now guys let's move to the next table that is products okay so same way guys we have to just create it let me just continue to create yep let's move open the terminal create a migration file php artisan make colon migration create underscore products underscore table hit enter so your products table is created let's move inside this product and guys basic requirements let's copy from the previous table which is going to be uh, yes name and uid i missed out the is active yes done now you can copy it category id brand id you have to mention them let's add those fields also here dollar table of foreign id function and here we add category underscore id okay and this will be nullable like sometimes there is no category or no brand so at that time we have to leave it like this okay add a brand id and what next name slug and small description long description we can copy from the category so let me just copy that and paste here name slug and small description and then normal description so you can copy this and remove the description original price selling price so for this you can keep a string value or integer not a problem so let me add as original price which is going to be integer and here also integer selling underscore price then image quantity status so we have image then quantity and status of that product which is going to be image also nullable and this original price cannot be nullable and selling price also just remove those fields and yep so once status is done and you can add this product like copy and paste so is trending and by default it should be zero and then meta title keyword description so you can just move to category here we have all these fields copy that paste after the quantity part and here we add all the fields as nullable this okay so quantity also should be at least 10 by let me mention as default 0 and uh, meta title will be nullable description keyword nullable status is not nullable is active part will work for the status so you can just remove this okay status is not required and now guys we are done with creating the migration file let's migrate it php artisan migrate hit enter so migration has been done let's create the model php artisan make colon model the product model hit enter and your model is created so now guys let's add the dollar table name which is products so we copy this and paste back products and now guys all the fields so i will just use a quick technique to select all this let me yes so here we move add a comma copy all the fields Control z go to the products model protected dollar fillable equal to inside array and paste the fields 
done. So now guys, let's write the relationship public function, the function name category, this product belongs to one category. Okay, so return dollar this of belongs to function and inside this where it belongs to category model colon colon class with id so your foreign key id this is my key and the local id okay all set so same way copy and paste for the brand change the model name brand and here you add brand underscore id right so here you have brand id and now guys import this both classes category model brand model okay so you can find this both the models and now let's begin with the controller part so yep let's open the terminal control tilde symbol and php artisan make colon controller product controller so it should be inside the admin folder let's hit enter and here you created the admin product controller let's move and you see that app http controller admin and inside that admin you have a product controller let's create the functions so it is going to be the same crowd operation what we have done for the uh, category or the brands so let us copy the category uh, controller code guys because almost all the things and few more things we have to add from this so let's move below control c copy and paste inside this product controller okay now get started with the index function here so first we are going to change the model product okay and here we add products variable and the folder also it's going to be products and the variable is products which you are passing in a compact function so now guys come to the create method paste the following path and now here you have to create a form request which is going to be product form request okay so product and here guys i am going to change one step like product i mean create product form request and for the update we are going to use the update product form request okay so let's create the form request so php artisan make colon request create product form request okay which is going to be inside the product folder done and hit enter so you can find that in app http request where a product folder inside that product we have a create product form request so as we have already seen that we have to make this true so you can copy from any of the form request so here we paste and import this auth class import class eliminate support packets auth and now let's come to the rules where you have to mention all the fields so what we'll do we'll go to the model first so product.php is the model and here you copy all the fields okay so fillables let's copy that and go back to your create product form request and paste it so here i paste and now guys make all the fields as uh, validation Control D D D. Let me select all the fields. Here we go, and inside the array, mention required. Okay, so these are the basic setup. And now in this UUID, we have to uh, set up like what we have done here in this prepare for validation. Let's copy this, move below. So below the rules, I will paste it and here you have to set up the uuid the slug let me import the class eliminate support str okay so the name is name uh, the product name okay so the product name what you are generating it 
and here the popular instead of popular we are using trending is trending let me copy that and paste here if it's trending is checked is true then zero or one okay one or zero whatever and same way we have to use the is active so if it is checked it is active else zero okay so done and now guys other fields are meta title description and keyword which is going to be nullable nullable okay and it is a string if you want you can add more validation so for some reason i'm leaving it like nullable itself and here quantity should be integer and oops uh, it is required and the field is integer and if you want it like you can break in this way to look more clean let us make this image also as nullable because sometimes we upload and sometimes it doesn't and the selling price description small description can be required and yep all other fields are and here guys we need like nullable okay so sometimes we don't provide the category id and brand id here it is required integer guys you cannot pass string value integer and for this original price selling price integer Let's copy this class name go back to our product controller and here we paste so create product form request let's import this class we have imported and here you see it's done so now guys uh, create product form request this product name should be a uh, unique so let me add like u n i q u e unique colon from the product table let me just google it um, in laravel okay let's move on this documentation if it's available so here we type u n i q u e let's see below example users then comma off email address so something like this i wanted so we can just copy this get back and update it so where this is not my user table instead product table with column will be name field okay so and here we get all the validation of field if image is available then upload the image where you have to upload in the products folder okay and then the path will be added in this and then you're going to create the product okay so import the class which we have already imported so class already imported not an issue and now let's redirect to the products page and here with the message product created and now guys let's move below and here on the show let's use product and the variable will be product and here you have to change this variable name in the compact function product and here view will be products so products product product model product all set now coming to the update function in this update function we have to create a new uh, form request so as you see that we have created a category product i mean sorry create product form request so same way i am going to create for update product form request so update product form request now let's copy and create the form request php artisan make request where inside my product folder update product form request hit enter and you will see that we have one request inside this product folder that is update product form request so now guys everything we are going to copy the same so let me paste one by one here now import this auth class which is element support packets auth and then the rules so everything same let me close this terminal so copy this paste here in this rules and one thing we are going to change that it is required and here unique part okay so you can just remove this and this case okay so all set and now you can get back and for the prepare validation which is already done right so which we don't have to re-update it 
so in that case you can just skip this like control x and slug will be the same we have to merge it let me import the class and it's running everything is going to be the same okay so if you want uh, the uid also we can include it but let's comment and keep it here for right now so which we don't need to update that again so yep now we can copy this class and move to the product controller in this we have to paste at this request update method let's import this form request and here let's change the model product and the variable product and now let's change this inside variables for the image upload part and let's import this file class uh, illuminate support fickets file which is added here let me show you here is the file okay now I've get back to the update method and once done you are updating the product data so once updated redirect back to products URL with the message product updated and coming back to the product variable guys I mean destroy function for the product you can include the product rename the variable product so what in case if image is available you have to delete it right so we need to add that code let's go to the brand controller where we have added it okay so let's copy that get back to the product controller and paste here okay so let me just confirm do we have in the category also the same logic let's copy this get to the category controller so in this also we are doing the image upload right so we need to delete this category image also so please add it if you have missed it like me so done now get back to your product controller okay and once the product is deleted then you are going back to products page main page and with the message product deleted that's it so now we can move on to the products URL so guys I don't find the products in the sidebar and here I see guys I have missed the path of this product so let me copy that path as we have used in the store method so same in the update method let's continue back on the sidebar which is the admin sidebar and we can find that in resource views and we move to layouts partial admin and inside that admin we have created the sidebar so you find this brands let's copy this and repaste here and let me just show you to control d d d three times and edit it as product and here rename this variable i mean the text as product products and if you are create product view products okay and change this url pro ducts products products create and done so now guys let's move to our front end i mean the route so before moving to route let's see the output ones refresh and here we have products so on this view page we need to create the products route let's get back to our the routes so move below 